Good morning, everyone. Myself, Amit Agarwal, Faculty of Management Department from IPM Group of Institution, Gaziabad. And uh, today, I'm just going to uh, explain a one financial topic that is totally based on uh, financial accounting. As we know, in the financial accounting, that means accounting that's complete in some basic steps as recording, classifying, summarizing, and at last reporting. Right. So recording, that means ki you are recording some general transactions that the one uh, main chapter of your accounting as journal. When we comes towards the second point that is classifying, it means you are going for ledger posting. You are classifying your total journal entries into their respective groups as the purchase group, sales group, goods, capital, liabilities and different different accounts are there. When we come towards the third point, that is summarizing. Summarizing means trial balance. You are just summarizing your total different classified accounts into the one format, which is called trial balance. What is trial balance? It shows the total accounts as two sided are there. One, it is your debit and one, it is your debit credit. So in the respective, as per the accounts balances, we are getting from the classification now it needs to go for trial balance after trial balance it just need to make some reporting to your superior authority in front of authority so we need to make some as conclude results in the form of results so then we just need to make final account and final account that means trading account profit and loss account and at last balance sheet so for all these working guys we just need to have some rules and regulations and the principles on which this total process of accounting is based. So today I'm just here to explain our concepts and conventions of accounting. There are 12 principles of accounting in which eight concepts and four conventions. These principles are just like the, you can say about rules and regulations, exemptions, conditions on which total accounting system is based. Apart all these concepts and conventions, there is a systematic format in which the accounting process takes place. Apart of all these conventions, you cannot make any kind of the manipulations and any kind of changes. So it means uh, in nutshell, we can say that the total accounting process are based on accounting principles. So as for the principle, my first principle is very important principle, which is commonly known as entity concept. Entity concepts tells us as business and the businessman, these are two separate entity. These two are totally different in reference to income and expenditure. Income of the business is totally different and the income of the businessman is totally different. These two things cannot be mixed in the books of account. It means the books of the owner are separate and the books of business are separate. As it is very clear with the name of entity concept. This is our first concept which is very common. One should learn before going to enter into the world of accounting okay, how this entity concept is working. I hope it is very clear to all the listeners. Now, let's move towards our second concept that is periodicity concept. Periodicity concept, that means the duration of accounting. As per our like Indian Company Contact Act, Indian Company Act 1956, we generally used to maintain our account on the basis of accounting period. Accounting period, that means a duration of 12 months, basically as per Hindi calendar academic year, it starts from 1st April and ends at 31st March. It is not just a physics formula ki aapko yahi maintain karna hai. According to the nature and working structure of the company, also you can maintain some different like as January to December. Aap apne according usse maintain kar sakte hai. Jaruri nahi, it is completed one year hi hona chahiye. Some business are like on a seasonal basis. So according to their duration, they can also maintain like the different particular months for accounting periodicity, uh, periodicity concept. 
let's move towards the next concept money measurement guys this is just like a one key point of our accounting on which we will would like to say the total accounting functionalities are based how accounting consider only those aspects which can be measured in terms of money a part of money transactions nothing is going to be entered into the books of accounting right accounting concept mein jo bhi monetary concepts hain jinhe hum money ki form mein measure kar sakte hain jinhe hum apni money ke reference mein measure kar sakte hain accounting table unhe hi consider karta hai i would like to give one very simple and easy example for money measurement concept like if somebody is getting any kind of the achievement in the form of cash in the form of check so that can be considered by the bank and that you can be record all these things into your book but somebody is getting only blessings right somebody is only getting like the uh, achievements as clapping and the praise by someone can you record this into the books of account no accounting only consider those points which can be measured in terms of money non monetary transactions cannot be considered yes next concept it is accrual concept accrued what is accrued accrued this earn but not received it means we have earned something but is still not received jab tak hum usse receive nahi kar lete things are in the pipeline just like the salary of the employee salary of employee like you were employees working for a month but still the salary is due it will be received it may be in a decided date as per the rules of the company what is this that's my accrued income accrued concept so concept should be recognized in the book of account only when they uh, occur and not on, on the on cash basis jab tak ki wo cash ki form mein hamara convert nahi ho jata guys i have just explained uh, in my lecture about the four concepts the one it is your entity concept period concept money measurement concept accrued concept like these four concepts are still other concepts are also there one important concept like it is uh, going concern concept matching concept and i would like to explain the one very important concept it is dual aspect concept dual aspect two sides of our accounting one side the debit side and one side it is a credit side nothing is going to be in the isolation and on the one side transactions come get them bilateral and unilateral all the accounting transactions are having dual aspect like if you are suppose you are having a 1000 rupee note in your pocket you are purchasing something from the market for rupees 400 so it means out of 1400 is going to be convert in the form of goods remaining 600 is still like having into your pocket so iska matlab kya hai one side something is going and the another side something is coming what is this dual aspect concept one side debit one side credit as you are withdrawing some amount from the atm in a quick form you are getting a one message such amount has been debited from your account and the another form jahan se wo aapne aise amount aap deduct kiya आपके पास कैश आ गया इसका मतलब आपका जो अकाउंट से बैलेंस था वहां डेबिट होते ही आपके पास मनी फॉर्म में कैश की फॉर्म में आपके पास कैश विड्रॉल हो चुका है ट्रांजेक्शन सैलरी ट्रांसफर जैसे ही सैलरी ट्रांसफर एक इंप्लॉय के अकाउंट में होती है employee account is going to be credit and now the employer account is going to be debit this is a one important formula of account uh, a part of all these concepts another concepts are also there and uh, today what the concepts we explain these are very important concepts of accounting right ek hum is pe jo concept to explain karte hain that is your uh, going concern going concern it is going to be assume the business will continue till long years it is not just like for a short duration you are going to start your business you are going to buy the business that is a things it is going to be transferred from year to year from one to second second to third year that is the exemptions 
and the concern of all the business men then they or he or she is going to start any kind of business so like as we have explained the different concepts our uh, skill our another concepts are also there that again we will explain in our next lecture so i think ki these concepts whatever we have explained in my today lecture it is more clear to my all the students and it will be helpful for those students who are interesting and having some like interest in the field of accounting i hope it is a very useful lecture for all my listeners thank you so much from my side